Cena, Warthog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. Um, please pardon the crazy hair and outfit. I just got back from Pickleball, and I have my Paws visor with my Paws Navy lug leggings, which are super comfy and perfect for a lightly cool evening. Anyway, uh, I have for you a lug haul. This is a mix from Lug Life and Lug Live. Uh, it was a couple, two or three different orders that I saved until they all got here, so what's what, which came from where, kind of doesn't matter. Here goes the haul. So the first item I got is the Ranger XL. I think that's what this is, yeah. In fact, it is. It's an Azalea Pink, and I do have one of these. It is uh, Sea Life Blue, so I have shown this in the past, but this one I got in Azalea Pink because I thought it might be a very good pickleball bag. It's not really my style for my regular travel bag. Great for a weekend trip, great for bopping around, great for a lot of things. It's a perfect gym bag, honestly, a lot of things, but I thought it might be perfect for pickleball. So let's kind of look at the bag and I'll kind of explain what I was thinking and I will at least try it. And it's fun colors, very tropical. Um, so there you go. Anyway, it is a taupe style bag, but it does come with a removable, adjustable, crossbody shoulder strap, so that's great. This um, strap drop is not really sufficient to go on my shoulder. It is easily carried on the crook of the arm or in your hand, and it does have the no-slip grip on it, and it's a pretty robust handle there at the top of those straps. So that's nice, and they do have the metal rings here that are rectangular, so when you're not using them, they do lay pretty flat down against the bag, so like when you're using the crossbody shoulder strap. So that's all good. I was kind of thinking that the back one, I could put my carabiner on it and just hang it on the fence like that so I can get into things. Anyways, more about that. If I do pack it as a pickleball bag, I will return to you with a what's in my bag to share how I did that as always. But for now, uh, let's just talk bag. So it is a large bag. It's a north-south bag, which is great. It has lots and lots of pockets and organization, starting with the cell phone pocket right here with the magnetic closure right on the front. That's perfect and very accessible. Seems like strong bag, it's not that strong with a soft liner on the inside. In front of that, you have a double zip pocket that zips down and around the side so it opens up very nicely. And in here, a perfect little key bungee with the clip on it. You've got a card, believe in yourself. I'm gonna put that with my other ones. You have one, two, three, six card slots, three and three with a cash drawer behind it. And then it's just a good size pocket. It has quite a little bit of gusset to it all by itself, so that's nice. And then on the front of it, you have another zipper pocket there, so perfect. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Nikki. She's licking my elbow. She says, Mama's been gone all afternoon. I know, I know. Don't lick at my face, thank you. Good girl. <laughs> Uh, we're going camping tomorrow, so she's a little bit out of sorts because I've been kind of throwing things together in piles rushing around. Anyways, okay, so that is the front pocket. Then um, you have on the back, you have a zipper pocket that goes all the way across and all the way down. So I was thinking this pocket, if I just leave it open like that, could be the quick access for the paddle of the day. Um, I do have um, protective covers for my paddles, so it doesn't matter that this doesn't really have a whole lot of protection to the pouch um, because it's just, you know, while I'm in use. So there you go. That's my plan. And then it does have a um, trolley strap right here that Velcro's in the middle when not in use. So that's fine. I don't plan on using it for that kind of bag, but it's nice to be able to if you need to. It has big, generous cargo pockets on the side, and it does have a little magnet in there to hold them in close when they're not in use. Okay, so that's it for the outside. Let's go into the inside. It is one main pocket and just like the Ranger purse, it zips all the way down the sides. So it opens up and is very accessible. See that nice gusset there and you can get into that bag very nicely. There's your nice wide removable adjustable crossbody shoulder strap. And inside you have the clear view on the top half of the front. Below that you have two elastic cargo pockets and then on the back of the bag you have one big cargo pocket and then the 
bottom of the bag, look how big this bag is. It is plastic coated and has plastic feed on it. So that's really nice. It'll stand on it and protect itself. So that's cool. Um, so then when you stand it up, it actually can hold quite a lot. Perfect for the things I might need, like a little bag with some snacks, like fruit snacks and nuts. I always have a little something because either myself or someone, if you play for three or four hours, somebody's going to get hungry and we always get into that. I always keep, uh, when the cold weather, I keep a little pair of knit gloves and a beanie cap. I always have sunscreen, a visor, some chapstick, some tissues, uh, extra pair of socks, and a sweatshirt. So that's kind of the things I generally have in my bag. A couple of balls, a couple of paddles. Anyway, my wallet and my phone and my car keys. So I thought that would be a great, and that's my plan, why I got a second one that I don't really need, but it's fun. There are lots of bags on the pickleball list, by the way, so we're going to start cycling through them. All right, so with that, I also grabbed, I'm going to dump some things out that'll come next, but... I also grabbed the tumbler, which is um, like a tumbler storage bag or just kind of like a ditty bag. See, it has a drawstring closure on the top and it is plastic coated on the bottom as well. It's not structured, but the fabric is kind of new still and it's plastic lined, this clear plastic liner. So it's a little stiff, but it will loosen up and it'll be more, flexible a little bit. It will have some structure because it's the way it's built. It does have inside two of those elastic cargo pockets on the bottom um, opposite. No, it's not opposite. So here's the, the pull. If you drew a line across the circle to the other side, it's on this half. So two of them here. One and two. Anyways, Azalea Pink, the tumbler. You can store your tumblers in here. It's perfect for that. I don't store mine that way. I have a different method in the cabinet but there you go so this will be the bag for things inside the bag which is fun i don't need that okay so next item is um bracelets well charms the sparkle sparkle stuff so first thing i will share is that I had previously had this and I have been wearing it like this. This came with one of the other accessories and it came with little pouches. I forget which one it was. I have it sitting aside. I just don't remember the name off the top of my head. I'll try and put it in the remarks for you. But um, this was one of the bands from that and I've been using it as a bracelet and I just put my name on it because that's fun. And I actually get a lot of compliments on it. Like, oh my gosh, that's a really cool bracelet. And I said, well, it's kind of not a bracelet. I just made it a bracelet. And I wear it just like that. Um, but I, I like it so much that I decided to mix it up and do other things with my charms. So not just on my handbags. So some of the charms I already had were very seasonal. So they're on the smaller strap just for storage. I had the snowman, the blingy heart, the Christmas tree, and a snowflake. And I also had, because it came in one of the holiday box. I had the extra snowflakes. So I have two snowflakes and I didn't unwrap it because I already had one out. Um, and then there was a sale on these. So I bought the doggy paw prints and the star. I know there's more. I could get a ton of these. They're just fun. Um, I don't really need a ton of them. I don't need another hobby or habit that I'm going to just go ballistic on. So I'm kind of keeping it low key. There are some that I saw that were available, but I were not available for me to buy. They were already sold out or anyway so these are some ideas to mix it up and you know maybe put like one or two or maybe just have a heart and a nice blingy thing so now I remember thinking I don't even know if I said it but I thought it would be really cool if they sold the band separately and they do now so I bought an extra black band so now I could even do two on one if I wanted and I bought a hot pink one honestly I'm not really big on hot pink but I thought, you know, pink matches my pickleball bag, kind of, sort of. It doesn't because it's too hot. <laughs> but I just thought it would be fun. So there you have it. I bought a bunch of sparkle stuff. And then right now, I'm just going to hook it together using the extra band. So there you go. Also, I already had this. This is the sparkle bag charm clip thing. And... 
There was a lot of feedback about this little clip on the side opening up. So I don't know if you watched my video a while back. I'll try and find it and link it here for you if I find it. Um, this is just the plain heart that's not sparkly, but it is still a sparkle charm. And I just put a little like braces rubber band through that and against this so it holds that clasp closed and it doesn't impede the heart at all really. So it's kind of almost there but not there anyways. So that is another way to use the charms. And then of course you have the charm bars on some of the bags. So there you go. That's how I'm doing that. Um, also in one of the orders, it was, I don't know which one. I did get a pen, it's Peacock Multi. Very pretty. And it's one of the metal ones, it's very nice. Okay, and this stuff is really in no particular order. There was a sale on some things and then I had my coupons from the, the holiday surprise box. This is the Ship Lap, Ship Lap. It is a pouch slash wristlet thing. This is metallic walnut. So it almost looks like gold to me, like almost a metallic gold, honestly. It, I expected it to be a little bit more brown metallic versus that. It's fine. I like it for what it is. I just, in my head, thought it was going to look a little differently based on the pictures and based on the name. That's okay. I like it just fine. It does have a removable wristlet and you can put the wristlet on either end. It does have loops or you can take the wristlet off and maybe use a strap that you have laying around and you could make it into a cute little crossbody or shoulder bag or, or a clutch with a little short strap or whatever. Um, it does have the gunmetal zipper coming across. Inside, it's pretty simple. It has a zipper privacy pocket and then on the front, it has a clear ID window. And the pattern looks, honestly, it looks like boho floral black, but in a neutral tones I don't know if you can see that very well, but there you can see that one big flower that's very reminiscent of boho flower black. So I don't know if that is what this is, but that's what it looks like to me. Let me see it better on this side. But anyway, so this pouch is a good size. It's triangular shape, so big on the bottom and then skinny on the top. Um, it needs a little fabric training because the way it was folded for shipment. It does lay flat though, so that's cool. Um, but there you go. So ship lap, and I'm going to hold that out for just a second because I got another new bag. Um, this is the Bebop. Bebop is a funny name. It makes me chuckle inside. And this is in walnut. So walnut and metallic walnut. I just thought that they would be in the same tone zone, you know? This is more yellow or warmer, and this is a little cooler brown. I don't know if cooler is the right word. I just thought that they would be in the same spectrum a little closer. That's okay, they don't, I mean, I'm not gonna put that inside that, it doesn't work like that. But this is very scoop-like, it's not a scoop, it's very different, I actually like it much better than the scoop. Um, but let's go into it. It is a east-west bag, it does have a crossbody shoulder strap that's removable and adjustable, we'll get to that, and it has a top carry handle. I really like the top carry handle because you know you can grab it and get out of the car and then throw the strap on, things like that. On the front, it has this zipper pocket. It goes all the way across. It is a hooded pocket, so you can fit more in there. You get your first look. It looks like love stripe. I don't know what you call that. Neutral love stripe tan. Um, I'm not positive that's what it is. I didn't watch all the shows. I just shopped because I don't have time to watch all the shows, even though I like them. Um, but that's what it looks like to me. So anyways, there you go. Stripes. And this pocket does have a little gusset, so you can see just by looking at the side of the bag, it's like a finger and a half thick right here. This, this is that pocket on the side. And then right behind that, you have a double zipper pocket that goes all the way around and down both sides, and this opens up. So if you were wearing it as a crossbody, you can imagine opening that up and getting into that very, very nicely, which is great. You have a clear ID window on the front right there. Right next to it, you have two pen slots. So that's away from you as you're looking at it. And then on the opposite side, you have a nice soft line pocket. So a great place to put glasses or your phone if you want to, but there is a phone slot somewhere else. So for me, that would be my glasses. And that pocket, of course, does have a little space to it. Um, it's not super deep, but probably roughly as deep as that front pocket, maybe a little bit less actually, even though it looks like a main pocket. It is not the main pocket, by the way. This is just the front part. Okay, but that double zipper comes up, 
You got the handle. Behind the handle, you have your second main pocket right here, which is the main pocket. And that does have, it has the card in it. The thank you from Jason and family, Jason and Amy and the kids. It has a, a silica pack. It has a bungee key clip. It has a clear view pocket towards the middle. And towards the back, you have two elastic cargo pockets. So this is the main pocket. If you look at this from the side, oops, I'll come back to the strap. It is, this, this is the main pocket because look at how much the bag it covers right here. That's a pretty good size. And looking at that bag from the bottom, this is what we're talking about. And you can really see the delineation. So this is the main compartment. This is that front compartment and this is that front pocket that we talked about. So there's your sections right there. Big, big bag actually. So it's one of those tiny but mighty kind of things, not tiny. I would call this a medium sized bag actually. Now, the strap itself is a nice wide strap and is again, removable and adjustable. And then on the back of the bag, you have two things. You have a zipper pocket all the way across. Um, nothing in there, it just is the width of the bag and the depth of the bag. And then you have right behind that your horizontal phone pocket right there with a the soft lining. So. That is fun. Um, the Bebop, I know it's a very neutral color, but I got a neutral on purpose. And that is Walnut. That's a different quilting as well. All right, Bebop, Bebop. Okay, this beauty is the Whoosh. And this is Metallic Indigo. I'm generally not super, super into metallics. I do kind of like them. Some of them more than others and very few items, but select. I got this item, this, it, this could be used for so, so many things. It is a perfect craft container. So you can put um, a lot of different things. You can have two different projects going in here at once. It will most likely, I bought it to use for my sewing stuff, honestly. Um, but let's talk about what we have here. The top portion is clear view all the way around except the back panel, which is fine. It does have a clear view pocket inside. There's just a tissue in there right now to keep the plastic from sticking to the plastic. Great place to store some small things. In my case, I was thinking, this is what I was thinking. I was thinking I was put like my needle packs that has my sewing, this is where my sewing machine, sewing machine. It has like the, the needles here and then some of the things in here that you want to be able to see like maybe um, like the sewing machine tools, the f different feet for the sewing machine, all the adaptive things. But so you can look in the side and you go, oh yeah, this, that, the other, maybe. I'm gonna leave this in here for now until I get it sorted, but okay. So that top part is the stuff that you wanna see and you'll see it through the top and the sides, which is nice. So you take that tissue out, there's that. And then below that, the bottom part, if I'm using it the way that I bought it for, which you never know with me, it could get moved around to five different things and find a home 10 steps down the road. Inside, there's the inside pattern, by the way. You have another clear view pocket on top, and then the bottom is also plastic lined throughout. So in the bottom, I would have all my other things like my uh, clips and pins and uh, other things. So maybe that's how I'm gonna use it. That's what I bought it for anyways. So the whoosh, there. Now, craft project wise, cosmetic wise, great for all of the above. You can store your medicine in it, it's great for travel, great for home, great for everything. And I figured that the metallic would be a little more wipeable on the outside as well as inside. Anyway, that's what I was thinking. But great little grab and go, take your projects wherever, or just grab a sewing machine, grab your thing and go put it on the table and now I could sit down and have everything all together and ready to rock and roll. Best laid plans. Okay. In one of the packages, there was some tissue paper. It's not part of the deal. It just, I always save it because it's pretty and who knows. Maybe I'll use it for something else down the road. I do like large wallets and this is the Foxtrot in black. I probably won't buy a whole bunch of these because I have a lot of wallets between Vera and Mug and all the others. I, I do, I just have a lot of wallets. But one good black one for any occasion always a good thing. It is a wristlet, so it's a great bag in a bag, grab and go kind of thing. 
It has the external coin pouch, which I like. It does have the gusset on one side, so you can really get in there nicely, pick out your coins if you so desire, and it holds quite a lot. The front part has this snap tab on it. It is not adjustable, so it's just a snap, but it has a little give and a little space there, so you should be able to stuff that those pouches and still close it, no problem, I think. I have not tried. On the front part right here, this is like the front cover if you open the book, you have two long slots there. So you could put a checkbook in there and have that kind of facing from, you could. It does have a pen here, elastic for a pen. So that would be kind of a perfect place. Or you can just put receipts or other papers or things there or nothing or cards. And then you get into this. You have two clear views, two more clear views, and then another clear view. Only this clear view right here has the window to push cards out. Okay, I have mixed feelings about that. It would be great if these also had it because sometimes those cards are hard to get out. Then it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven card slots coming down right here. It also came with wherever you go, may your guardian angel watch over you. So I'll put that with my other cards. I always keep those together. And there you have it. So it's kind of like a little book up front. So you could have your checkbook. I don't carry my checkbook around on the daily. Um, but there you go. I do carry a lot of cards. So that's nice to have them all in one place. I also like to have my cash in the same place. So having my cash right there and then my other stuff right by it also is probably how I'll use it. We'll see. I haven't used it yet. And then you have a zipper section. So size and basic configuration reminds me a lot of the Vera Bradley Turnlock wallet or the Ultimate Wristlet. Wristlet, not card case. That's a different thing. But the Ultimate Wristlet is also big um, and it has a different clip. But anyway, the back is a little bit like an accordion style, except that it doesn't have any organization or card slots or anything. It's just two main sections. I do have my phone. My phone is a 13 Pro Max. It does fit in there and easily zips in. So if you did want to put it in your um, wristlet and carry that around as a grab and go, it would be very good for that. It is also RFID, which is nice. And I'm just gonna put these things back in it for now and zip it up. So that's the Foxtrot in black. This is some nice quilting on there too. It's like a double diamond, pretty. Okay, so that is, let me put that back in my pocket. All right, the next item, I do have a spirit jersey. I bought the Sea Life Blue one. Or I think it says Seize the Day or something on it. But I liked this one so much, and I know it's past New Year's, so it's not about New Year's to me. I hope there's dog hair everywhere. But I just thought it was really cool. I liked the sparkle of it. So this one says, sparkle! And it's basically fireworks black, honestly. But look at that sparkle. The whole thing is sparkly. I, I just, I don't know. I'm not a blingy person, but I really liked it. I thought it'd be really fun um, to wear, like even, even on a cold pickleball night, just sparkle on, be out there under the lights playing pickleball and blinging up the place. Um, but yeah, and on the sleeve, it has more of the fireworks coming down the sleeve there on the one side. The other sleeve is just sparkles. And then on the front is sparkly, and then you have just some fireworks and lug right there. And that's it, it's a kind of simple, but it's kind of pretty, and you almost could dress it up too, even though it's like a casual thing. But anyway, I liked it. I hope it washes well and holds the sparkles. I'll be very careful with it, but I'm hopeful. All right, the last item I got, I got two of them, two different patterns. And let me open this up because I'm gonna use it tonight to pack the RV for tomorrow. Because we're leaving again, going camping, glamping. Going down to Aravaca. Hi, Kelly. She likes to go camping because she can run around. Huh, what are you doing? Did mama get more stuff? I know, he's so sweet. She's trying to tell me it's night night time. I know, I know. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Almost, I have to pack. <laughs> this is the Gallup. It says Gallup Home. I think it's just the Gallup. But this one is in Resort Black. 
And before we get into it, let me open up the other one. The other one is a new pattern. Oh, this one opened up easier. That's nice. It does come with cards. And this one is Autumn Daisy. So what these are, these are either storage and or carriage of things. You can see it has a clear V pouch on the front, so you could put like a three by five card in there and just have written on what is in them and have them sitting on the shelves next to each other, like up on the upper shelf in your closet or something. Not how I'm gonna use it, but they also have carry handles, which I am super excited about. So you lay it, you spread it out. That's how big it is. It's a rectangle and it, it has some structure to the sides. And then it has this removable bottom piece. So you take the little silica out and you put this in the bottom. And now it stays stood up. See that? And so you can, you can kind of hear. The sides all have a little structure. There's a, a bend right there. So if you take that bottom out, the sides bend in and it collapses on itself, which is great. Um, a nice carriage handles, very generously sized so you can. Put them over your shoulder, or for me, I'm just going to carry one in each hand, balance myself, and walk right out to the RV. One for the stuff for the food, and one with clothes and crafts. So, yeah, so I have three of them. <laughs> there you go. That's my plan, and they're different colors. You can use different ones for different things. If you want them all the same, you can have, like, your storage stuff, all the same colors if you want. But anyways, inside, it also has another clear view pocket on um, one side right there. So, um, yeah, there you go. I've been using my Christmas one that came in the Christmas um, surprise box, and I've been using it every trip, which is a lot. And here's Resort Black, which is very pretty florals. Um, I think this would be great also for, oops, get that silica pack out. Um, for things like maybe you're going to the park and you want to pack like a picnic. Okay, it's not a closed top picnic basket. But it is a perfect thing just to carry stuff from the car to where you're going to sit and have your pick. Excuse me. Um, great for a pickleball tournament. Great for going to watch kids games. Just take all your stuff in there. You got some water, some snacks, some uh, extra jacket, a blanket for the kids, whatever. Um, stuff like that. And that is the end of this haul. So I know it was a little bit fast and jumbled, but um, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of new stuff. There is a lot of other new stuff that I haven't even touched, but I have been trying to be good, and now I'm gonna throttle back again for a while. As I bought a new tow car for my RV, so now I have transportation when I go places, especially when I go back to Virginia for the long periods, which is great. But then that costs money, plus the money to adapt it for tow. This isn't whining, these are all my own choices that set up my own finances, but that puts me in a bit of a hole for a short time, because I'm paying for my driveway that I put out there, $70,000 driveway and trying to save money to build a house. So I haven't been doing very good at any of that because I've been spending money like it was my job. So now I have to be good. We still will have plenty of videos to talk about and things to do, so don't you fear. Um, it'll just be more selective on the haul stuff, but I do still have hauls coming in. As you can see, um, there's gonna be fewer and farther between, but that's okay. So if there's something you haven't seen, you think I have and you want to see, by all means, let me know anytime. And otherwise, I'll just keep things coming. Bye for now.